G'day folks, it's Rob here and welcome to our small little aquaponic and backyard YouTube channel. Today's clip is a little bit different to most as I wanted to share a couple of links uh, to different YouTube channels and websites and forums that have really helped me out uh, when it came to designing and building my aquaponic system when I first started out. The reason why is because it's one of the most common questions I get is what resources are out there for people to start their own system up? Uh, what did I use when I was first looking at building a system? So I thought it only fair that I share this with you folks out there. A little bit of a disclaimer, at this point in time, um, I'm not getting any kickbacks or remunerations from any of the companies that I'm mentioning in the clip or the PDF download you'll be able to um, get for yourself that has all the links. So I just thought I'd put that on the table. Uh, another thing I just wanted to cover is I know there is a load of aquaponic websites, uh, both businesses and blogs and whatnot, uh, also forums and YouTube channels. I just can't cover them all in this one clip. So I've pretty much all taken the ones that I think will help folks out um, with little bits of information just to get their system off the ground and running fairly smoothly. So uh, no offense to anyone that I miss out. There's just so much out there that, you know, it's a little bit hard to narrow it down to just the basics, I think. Now, as I mentioned, I will be compiling all the links to the YouTube channels, the forum, and the different websites and downloads into a PDF. The reason I'm doing that is if you folks find it handy, it's a little bit inconvenient to keep coming back to this video clip to find all the links. I'll pop them in the PDF and that way you guys can download them and pretty much will you know, have them on your mobile, de mobile device as you're working on your system or out and about wanting to share with other folks. So it's just a lot more handier that way. Now, unfortunately, YouTube won't let me host PDF on, underneath the um, video here. So I will host it over on my Patreon page and I'll make it a free public post so anyone in the world can come along and download the links if they think they're useful. So there you go. So I thought I'd start off with YouTube because that's where I first started searching for content online. Now, to begin with, I thought we'd start with Bright Agritech. Uh, now, Dr. Nate Story, he's been posting some very, very helpful clips when it comes to the science behind um, adding nutrients and keeping your pH balanced in the system. The next YouTuber is Rob and his Bigelow Brook Farm YouTube channel. Now, I saw Rob's first system a couple of years back now on a separate YouTube channel. I think it was called Fair Companies. Um, basically, a little bit of a look at his small little uh, greenhouse aquaponics system. I was sold and the rest is pretty much all history. I've been into aquaponics ever since. Um, since then, Rob has decommissioned that system as far as I know. And he now operates a, um, an aquaponics system in a geodesic dome greenhouse. He's actually got um, some very useful playlists. He's got one on the geodesic design and build. He's got another playlist on the aquaponic system and how it's gone together and how he's run it. And he has another separate playlist again on the rocket mass heater and how he's um, developed it and altered it and tinkered with it. So definitely worth checking out Rob's channel, I think. Last but not least, YouTube wise is my own channel. I have a playlist in the PDF that basically contains a lot of information on how to build and run a small aquaponic system. I've got a couple of complete uh, builds, aquaponic system builds. One's an IBC and the other is a 200 litre or 50 gallon barrel. Just some small builds. I run through the parts you need, the tools that are needed and also to how to pop them all together in one clip. Uh, I've also got other clips in there on solids filtration, building a radial flow filter, uh, solids lifting outlets, getting the solids out of your fish tank. There's also things like um, putting fish into the system, how to add them into an aquaponic or aquaculture system. And then at the other end, how to dispatch them as humanely as possible. In that playlist, I also have a couple of clips from other folks. I've included one in particular, and that's the Backyard Aquaponics folks. They've got a video clip on their take on the single IBC aquaponics system, where you basically chop a bit off, flip it over, and turn it into a grow bed. So well worth checking it out, just to get a few different ideas and takes on you know the different possibilities when making up an aquaponic system. Now, there's obviously a lot more aquaponic channels out there than the ones I've mentioned above. The best way to find them here on YouTube is to type in aquaponic channel and then hit the little search icon. You'll have some videos pop up, but then you'll also have a list of aquaponic based channels as well. 
um, as well as a few like mine that are aquaponics as well as backyard farming. Um, another thing I'll do for you folks is I will list in the PDF a selection of my favorite aquaponic and backyard farming vlogs that contain aquaponics um, and you can have a bit of a wander through them. Anywhere, you know, you'll be traveling to the frozen north of Canada to check out JT system um, or, you know, in Brisbane, north side of Brisbane to Andy's McDowell Manor. Those guys have little aquaponic systems, both of them very different to my own, but they may have ideas and, and tips and tricks that may help you in your design or running your system. Now onto the world of Facebook and forums. Now, uh, as far as Facebook groups go, I really do like Aquaponics Anonymous set up by Matthias a little while back. Now, it's got members from all walks of the aquaponic um, spectrum. We've got the backyarders like myself and maybe you as well, all the way up to the commercial growers who are running fantastic systems all around the world. There's a lot of technical information that's talked about, but they're also always there to help the little guy who's having problems understanding concepts or how a part of a build works and or operates. So it is well worth checking out um, the Aquaponics Anonymous. It is a closed group, so you will have to ask to join. Another group that I really do like and is geared more to the backyarder is Backyard Aquaponics. Same folks who run the forum and the website um, run this page here. It's more focused towards the backyarder though. There is some commercial stuff in there, but it's more folks sharing their own builds, the produce they've harvested, and also to any you know tips or tricks or hacks that they've come up with just to help the other folks out. Now, if you're after a more localized or a more regional um, Facebook group um, where people can offer you advice, you know, getting parts and bits and pieces from your own area, um, there are a load, uh, a couple that I follow is Aquaponics Australia and then Aquaponics Australia Official, two separate groups. And then there's also, you know, regional groups like Aquaponics Brisbane or Brisbane Aquaponics, sorry. And then there's uh, the Victorian Aquaponics Enthusiast, I think it's called. Basically, all you need to do is type in aquaponics and then your region or state or the area you're looking for, and you're bound to have at least one group pop up that way. So well worth checking out if you're on Facebook a lot and yeah, you're looking for some aquaponic information. Now, when it comes to forums, there are a few out there. Uh, the best thing I can suggest is to go to your favorite search engine, type in aquaponic forum, press search and see what pops up. You'll have some that go towards the backyard side of aquaponics and others that go more towards the commercial. My favorite is more of a backyard style um, aquaponic forum. It's actually called Backyard Aquaponics. Uh, it's a fairly popular one and I think one of the oldest running forums on aquaponics you'll find on the internet. Now, obviously they lean more towards the backyard side of things. On their forum front page, they've got a couple of boards that will help the um, newbie backyarder out. Now, if you're not into forums, they also have on their main Backyard Aquaponic website a, um, a helpful guide to aquaponics and it just runs through a lot of those basic things that are on the boards in the forum. Now if that wasn't enough from the Backyard Aquaponics folks, um, they've also got a very useful download called the IBC of Aquaponics. You can get it in a PDF form. Um, at the, the start of the PDF there's about 18 pages of useful information on getting started in aquaponics. And it also runs through the build that they, I've got the video of in my playlist that I mentioned before. Um, they've got the, um, the, the walkthrough in the PDF of how that little system was put together. Um, Faye did a fantastic job on that one. Um, the rest of the PDF is over 40 home-built aquaponic systems. Basically looking at how different people have come to use their IBCs to make their own small little backyard setup. And there's a load of little tips and tricks in there. And I got a lot of inspiration for my different builds and little tips on how to cut IBCs up from that download. I actually went back to it quite a few times when I was first building my system and tweaking it here and there. So definitely a download that I would recommend. Now, another great download that you can get from the Food and Agricultural Organization of the UN covers everything from what you need in a small backyard system um, up to information for much larger food production systems for NGOs or maybe someone contemplating a small commercial system. Now, the name of the download is called, and I have to read it, sorry folks, uh, the Small Scale Aquaponic Food Production Integrated Fish and Plant Farming. 
Uh, and as I said, it does cover, cover a great deal. I think it's got over 150 pages of um, information and it covers anything, everything from um, the quality of the water to the bacteria, um, how they mineralize the organic matter and turn it into plant available food, information on growing plants, growing fish, and also a bit of a troubleshooting guide. And the appendices at the end also include um, different plants and how to raise them in aquaponics so definitely something worth reading i've read it a number of times and i really should go back and read it again because it's been a few months i always pick up something that i missed previously in that one matthias has it pinned to the top of the aquaponics anonymous facebook page it's just that good and you know that much information in there now just quickly in the pdf i will be also including some suppliers for bits and pieces like pumps um, feed uh, also to secondhand um, tanks and that sort of thing because I have had a lot of people in Australia ask me for these items so I'll just include them in that PDF I am in no way receiving any kickback whatsoever from those folks at all except for the Uniseal bloke but then again I'm it um, I sell Uniseals disclaimer so I'll be putting the ordering information in the PDF as well for any of you Aussies or um, I've also sold to Indonesia and Thailand and Cambodia, Cambodia as well. So um, yeah, you can hit me up and I can do a bit of a quote for you and include postage. Um, I'm also going to be including people like Root and Ramble, mainly because I'm starting to wear um, the shirts as a bit of a uniform here on YouTube now. And I have had some people ask, I receive no kickbacks from these folks. I just really do like the t-shirt. So yeah, that link will be down there. I'll also include the Yikijimi link. Um, that's the most humane way I've found to be able to dispatch fish. And they've got a website that show you the, um, how to perform the technique on different species. So I'll, I'll include that down there as well. So I do hope that you folks have found this clip to be helpful in some way. Um, if you know other people that you know might benefit from the links, share the um, clip along and hopefully yeah, it will save them a bit of drama searching around the internet trying to find some half decent information. If you did enjoy the clip and you want to see more of our aquaponics or backyard farming clips, you can click on my hairy little mug down there and you'll be sent notification whenever I upload a clip to YouTube and you can come along and say good day and check it out. I do hope that your aquaponic systems and your veggie patches are booming and I'll catch you next clip folks. Have a great one.